Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new series for you guys. I've been wanting to do this since January, but unfortunately I haven't had a chance to do it until now. What I'm talking about is I wanted to do something where I could use my limited edition products or discontinued products, and I'm gonna explain to you guys why. First and foremost, most of us have stayed up, have bent over backwards to try to get limited edition products that have been limited quantities and we really love them but we can't use them on camera or in general just because some people can't get them but the reality is not many products are extremely unique where it cannot be found again in a different company in a different product in a different way and it looks exactly the same on your face so i wanted to pull out um, some limited edition products or some discontinued products because we know we can always find a dupe or something similar to what we already have. I have noticed this with new releases this year as I am shopping less. I'm realizing that a lot of the things that are being released as new or limited edition, I have something super similar in my collection already like 20 times over. So that's why I wanted to start this series to one, remind you guys of the limited edition or discontinued products that you may have in your collection that you haven't used in a while or to show you guys that some things are really not that rare that we probably already have in our collection that is permanent or that we have and we don't even know. So I just wanted to do this to remind you guys of it if you guys like this idea, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm not doing this to get anybody mad that they can't get the products. This is just a way to kind of revamp shopping your stash, but with limited edition and discontinued products. So I have the first look. I will be doing it as a tutorial situation so you guys can see it on hand. And maybe you guys can be reminded of things in your collection. And I would love to know anything that I do use that is limited edition or discontinued. Put it down in the comment section of something similar that you have that maybe I have not thought of or that you can help others that are watching this video as well. So if you want to see how to get this look, just stay tuned. All right guys, so I did most of my face, my brows, my concealer foundation just to save some time. And I wanted to use the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. I didn't want to go too far back in history. We're going to take the color Silk and we're going to use that as our transition color. I have always loved this palette and so I'm fortunate that it was limited edition, but it is amazing. And I do apologize for my ring light. It hasn't been turned on in two months at this time and it's acting up again. So I'm trying to fix it, so my apologies for the lighting in this video. But I did not want to delete it, I wanted you guys to see the look because I loved how it turned out. So the next color we're gonna grab is Gliss, which is one of the foiled colors in the palette. We're gonna pack this on to our lids with a flat shader brush. This is a beautiful everyday color. You don't need a special occasion to use it, you can actually use a fluffy brush and just blend it on your eyelids so it doesn't look so stark if you don't want it to be so stark on your eyelids. Next up, we're gonna grab the next color. I don't know what that color's called. I can't see it on the screen. But anyway, I will link it down below where I put all the colors down below in the description box just in case you miss it. So we're gonna concentrate this on the outer V to darken the look out. So I'm gonna use a precise blending pointed brush and just pack it on, kind of blend it into my crease just to pack on the color there. Now I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush or the one that I used to set my primer, has no other product on it, and just blend this completely out now back onto that same color that I don't know the name of <laughs> and we're gonna put this on a pencil brush and blend this on our lower lids to really get it can you see that my concealer is creasing at this point it has been two months since I have filmed so I'm sorry I'm a little rough but I'm getting there I promise you guys now I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs gel liner to tight line and waterline my essence gel liner and wispies from Ardell as my lashes for blush, we're going to use this Kiko Sensuous Coral Blush I got for Christmas. It is limited edition as well, but it is another dupable color. It, I'm using the mauve section of it at this point. I'm not using the coral side or mixing the two colors together. 
I'm gonna go with this Becca Rose Quartz highlight. It was limited edition again, but I have found some dupes. I believe the e.l.f. Um, highlighter, that the name of the highlighter is skipping me right now, but I just showed it in my March favorites. But that's a very similar dupe to this, so it is very doable, like the blush and exactly just like the eyeshadow palette. Obviously the formula may be different, but as far as colors, these all are very dupable, even though these were limited edition. Going back to the palette, I'm going back to that same purple color that I have no idea what the name is. <laughs> and you guys know I always like to go back and fix my eyes after I do my liner and lashes, because I'm always liking to go back and fix any little thing so i'm just going to add a little bit more purple and then blend that out all these colors i promise you guys are dupable now i'm going to grab my urban decay mascara i'm testing this out i actually like this for my lower lash line not so much for my upper lash line i'm using the bare minerals uh liquid lipsticks i can't remember the names i think it's like one is boss or juju i'll put them down in the description box but i'm going to use one first and then you're gonna see that I'm using a second one. It came in a trio during the Christmas time. I think it's still available at Ulta. I forget the names of these, you guys. I'm so bad, I'm so sorry. But everything will be in the description box, I promise. These are permanent, so if you want them, you can get them full size. So I'm just gonna blend these two together to kind of lighten it up a little bit. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will do this series if you guys like it. Share down in the description box any dupes you have for these, and I will catch you guys in the next one.